this is two hours that has been condensed down to about six and a half minutes. I like to put eyeliner on my neck now for face painting to mark where it is that I need to avoid or how far I need to bring the paint down. So that's why my neck has a fun little look on there. And then here I am studying the looks from other cosplayers so that way I can have points of reference. This right here is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is the shade Free Base, which is actually all white. Normally I just get in small corners of my mouth, but I decided to use a lot of it all over. And I think that probably helped with the application of the paint. Then I went in with a Wet n Wild Shadow Stick, just in black, to deepen my eyes. Blended that out. And now we're using a paint that I um, was trying for the first time. This is from Diamond Effects. It is a water-based paint. Originally I'd gotten this because I didn't think I had a deep enough blue, but I do have a full rainbow palette of paint in my repertoire now. I also used the Meron Brilliant, um, brilliant paint palette I'm not sure what the formal name is but I'll link it in the description and using some of the metallic paints that they had in there I used a little bit of the silver a little bit of the blue some of the pink and some of the purple to help give the galaxy part of this look a little bit more dimension and realism You also again see me talking, but that's again because originally I did this live for others while they were interacting. Now I'm going in with the Lagoon Blue for the remainder of my face. And this look is from chapter 172, I think, 172 or 177. One of them trial chapters of Lore Olympus where Hades was a little irritated and you could see him begin to transition with the galaxy look it was a lot of creative blending to get that ombre appearance perfect at least bringing the blue the dark blue of the diamond effects down and then having it layered with the lagoon blue right there on my cheeks it was really fun to try to figure out how to get that done effectively to where it looked seamless so you'll see me go back and forth along that quite a bit before i'm eventually satisfied And of course you are supposed to blend, blend to save your life, blend to save, well actually honestly I'm not in a relationship so I can't say blend to save your relationship, but either way, blend it out um, and using a soft hand to help really layer those two colors together. And again, I do go at it quite a bit, but it also, I'm not the best at blending an ombre style and it came out just fine. Then I went in with a detail brush and some silver paint, as well as some white paint to go ahead and add the stars. I did use the flicky method where you take the white paint and use your thumb to flick it and the little splatters make stars too. I really liked that method because it helped them to look a little bit more organic and not as chaotic as mine, or as chaotic as my free handing was, I should say. Next up, a little bit more blending, some powder to go ahead and set everything in place. And now we're going on to the eyeshadow. I worked from several palettes. Um, Juvia's Place, I worked with the box of crayons, I worked with, uh, I think, BH Cosmetics, um, a lot of different blues, dark blues and some silvers. Oh, and there's a violet boss that's in there too. To just go ahead and layer up on the eyes and make them look nice and kind of sparkly kind of shadowy kind of dark kind of scary glamorous either or and then of course once the eyeshadow is all done my signature pop it a little bit of sparkle on the inner eye or the inner corner inner portion of the eye smoking it out at the bottom some more sparkles i 
think I was also asking for input on what shades I should be using for this portion. But as is usual, then once the eyes are finished, um, this time I added white eyeliner and I think that's the, um, the white uh, NYX eyeliner. I used that on the bottom lash line. Then used a regular black eyeliner for my regular lashes or on my um, upper lid. Some more highlighting to help bring some more dimension and prism. I mean, I wanted it to be prismatic because you know it's galaxy, right? And then going in with the KVD eyebrow pomade to get white brows. And now that those are set in place, it's time to add white mascara. I did have to get this from Amazon. I don't know if you can find white mascara regularly in stores. Then going in, cleaning up the lips to make sure that the lipstick would be applied well. And then prepping for the lashes. And these lashes I actually coated with white mascara and some white eyeshadow to help give them the appearance that they are white since when he goes galaxy mode it looks like he has white lashes white brows all that good stuff to you know help with the color shift and there you have it all in all i'm pretty pleased with how everything came out and i hope that you like it too